Day Kentucky everyone. Well today we're discussing eye floaters and flashes with Dr. Belinda from Retina and Associates of Kentucky. Welcome back to the show my thank friend. Thank you, thank you. Good to be here. Okay, what, okay, I just, I don't know what a floater or a flasher is. So, uh, what is that? It actually is your eyes way of telling you that something's not right. Okay. Something's going wrong here. Like and what? Uh, you can have flashes of light because your retina has no pain fibers. So the retina lines the back of the eye wall and when there's a problem with the retina you're going to see flashes of light or even floaters. A lot of people have flashes and floaters and sometimes that can be normal but if it's new onset that can be a problem. Okay well how is the retinal detachers treated? Right well so first of all you got to figure out if, if it's something uh, bad that's going on, like yes. a tear detachment, or if it's just a normal aging change. And okay. so you got to go to your eye specialist, and they're going to do a dilated exam, and then they're going to look in, and this is what they're going to see, a detachment. You see it's sort of a balloon-looking area oh. up top. That's your retina. That round thing is the optic nerve. And, and is that behind the eye or in front of the eye? behind the eye. So it doesn't look smoky on the eye? No, your eye can look perfectly normal on the outside and only when you're dilated, uh, you can, a specialist can look in and, and oh, see wow. that's what's going on. All right, here's the perfect question. Who's at higher risk? People who have high myopia, so people who are nearsighted. People right. who are boxers or yes. have direct blows to uh, the, the head, uh, oh, babies that are prematurely born. Uh, uh, this is showing a, a picture of the retina, and you can see the fluid under the black spot there is the fluid underneath the retina. That is a retinal detachment, so that needs to be fixed. Right. Okay. Now, we're just going to give everyone a little bit of a warning at home. We're about to see a video. Just don't bring it up yet, so if you're a little bit queasy. But this is the actual procedure, am I correct? Yes. Tell everyone what they're about to watch before we put it up. So, we're uh, showing you a surgery called a scleral buckle surgery. It's one of the three ways that we can fix a retinal detachment. Okay, so let's this put this up and, okay. and we'll talk about it as we're watching. This is in an operating room and you can see we're taking down the, the skin of the eye or the conjunctiva so we can place a silicone band around the eye. This is going to support the retina in the weak areas and the tears of the retina. So this is done in the operating room with a patient who is uh, uh, anesthetized. And you can see oh, I was gonna, <laughs> I'm sure they are. <laughs> you can see the, the band going around and that's the silicone buckle that we put on. Interesting. That's part of it. And then we'll go inside the eye and we will drain the fluid. You can see the balloon of fluid going away because we're draining yeah. it from the outside. So the fluid's being evacuated there. And then we're going to put a gas bubble in so that we can, uh, that gas bubble will press up against the retina and act as a tamponade so it can keep it in place while it heals. Amazing. 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 I'm sorry. You know, I want to watch the video again, but I'll have to watch it on replay. Um, are these type of procedures covered by your insurance? They're covered by insurance. It's ah. a medical emergency. So if you have new onset flashes and floaters, you need to get them checked out. And if your local eye doctor says, oh, there's something going on, they'll send them to us and we'll fix it. We have a, a high success rate of fixing retinal detachments. With one or two surgeries, it's almost 100%. Okay. This is what it looks like when it's done. You can see the buckle around and the, the retina is all nice and flat. And we just want to remind everyone, this is behind the eye. Behind so the like eye. So like you said, you don't actually see that something's wrong. If I'm looking at you as my friend, I have right. no idea that could no be your idea. problem. No idea. So explain to me when you say you see slight flashes and things like that. Talk someone through at home what that means because a flash to me when you tell me that it means my eyes fluttering and I see bits of white. Yes, that, Is that that's pretty much it. Oh. It's, it's almost <laughs> as if a, a camera flashed but there's no one taking a picture. Right. Um, some people can see streaks or different uh, types of, of uh, floaters, black dots or red dots or sometimes you can see even part of your vision uh, coming, uh, uh, becoming black or gray, wow. sort of as a curtain coming across. And so if any of those things, they're not normal and they need to be checked out right away. If we fix it, the sooner we fix it, the more likely you'll have good vision. Any age that isn't... Any age. Really? Mm -hmm. You can have this as a teenager or... Yes. 
Dr. Belinda, I love that information. <laughs> I really appreciate it. If you want to find out more information, there it all is at Retina and Associates of Kentucky. There's the phone number and the address as well. Do we need to have a specialist appointment or we come and see you? Well, you can do it either way. If you have flashes and floaters, you go quickly, not to the emergency room, okay. not to your internal medicine doctor, but to your eye doctor. Got you. And the okay. eye doctor will get you to us. All right. Well, there was all the information. Again, great information. Thank we appreciate you. you. Yeah. Hey,